Hey guys, it's Elise. So as a follow-up to my GSA vlog that I uploaded last week, some people were asking me to actually go through the stages of the GSA audition. I auditioned for musical theatre, so I don't know how the other auditions work. But if you're auditioning for musical theatre or wanting to know like about the GSA musical theatre audition, then this is what happened in my audition. <laughs> so this was actually my first musical theatre audition, which was a really bad decision for me. I'm definitely reapplying next year as I didn't get re as I didn't get a recall this year, which I was fully expecting. To be honest, this year I was more going along for the experience and to find out what it actually is all about rather than thinking this year I'm gonna get in. I was thinking more this year I can learn from my audition and then be more prepared for next year. So depending on your call time, I would suggest getting there. We got to my audition an hour early, um, but I think that was a bit too much time to really give myself as we sat around for most of it doing nothing. The most I did was really get changed. Probably turn up half an hour before. Uh, you go into the GSA building and you hand in your headshot and they put this on your application which they write on during your singing and your dancing audition as in your first audition you actually don't get to act with GSA musical theatre you only get to sing and dance so the first slot for me I had singing first and then I had dancing so all of us kind of congregated in a little group because they split us half and half and we were taken into this small room, um, there were about 10 of us in there to put our stuff in um, and just leave our stuff in there and make sure that we didn't take it into the audition room with us. And in here I actually talked to a couple of people, honestly the people who turn up at musical theatre auditions are so nice, I got along with everyone and I was talking to a lot of the people, you know, just finding out everyone's songs, how old they were, just finding out, like, making friends with everyone basically. Um, so you leave your stuff in there and then you're taken outside um, for about five more minutes until the person in the audition room is ready for all of you. Um, and then the person comes out, they're like, we're ready for you, you can go in and there's about five seats um, down either side of the room. This is a small room, they actually had us in a dance studio I think it is. So say the door was here, there's a row of chairs, a row of chairs there and then there's a desk in between at the farthest end from the door and in my audition it was just a woman, I'm not sure if she was like um, a teacher with um, singing or like the music side of it but uh, she seemed really nice, she basically just welcomed us all in, told us what was going to happen. Big thing is you have to have your sheet music ready when you go into your singing audition. All of us had our sheet music in our folder, some of us had a water bottle, you are allowed to take a water bottle in with you, which was very helpful, but I would not suggest drinking a lot of water because I don't think they would have let us go out to the toilet. Um, but then she just welcomes you all in, you all sit down, and it's a really chill atmosphere. Honestly, I did not feel nervous in the audition room, and the pianist as well, the guy who was on the piano was so nice, he was just so understanding about everything. Um, so we all sat down, and then she would call everyone's names, so we would get called, we would have to take our sheet music to the piano, we would stand in front of her, um, and then we would have to say our name, the piece that we're singing, what musical it's from, and then she would say, okay, when you're ready, and then you give your cue to the pianist, and then you sing. Mine went a bit differently from what I was expecting, <laughs> so I got up, I gave my sheet music to the pianist, um, I went and stood, I said I'm singing Safer from First Date the Musical, um, she said, okay, when you're ready. Um, the pianist played way too fast for my song. I didn't want to keep adjusting the pianist to what I wanted, so I felt bad and I just went with whatever he did, which was such a bad decision. But he played too fast, so I had to rush through it, kind of, which was a really bad decision, something that I'm definitely not going to stick with next year. Um, and then, because Safer has so many pieces of sheet music, my sheet music fell off the piano halfway through my audition and uh, I carried on I was singing and then she went okay just hold on for a second while we get it all sorted so I was standing there embarrassed just like of course that's gonna be me who <laughs> that happens to it happened to no one else um, but my sheet music fell off I carried on singing 
Um, and then they got the sheet music sorted out, and then I finished my song, said thank you, and sat down, forgetting to actually go and get my sheet music. So I had to go up and get my sheet music and then sit back down. Everyone was doing that. Um, and then you listen to everyone else's songs. It's actually really nice just sitting there and listening to everyone else sing and seeing what their styles are. It's actually a really chill atmosphere and you get to know everyone quite well. So during your singing audition, when you're up there singing your heart out, she says to us, don't act like this is an audition room. Act like you're in front of a massive auditorium full of people. We need you to act like you would be singing this on stage which was something that I was expecting her to say anyway because they want to see what you're going to be like in a musical atmosphere and see what you're going to be like in front of everyone. And I did not act as much as I wanted to because my pianist was so fast, which was a bit annoying. But you know, lessons for next year. Um, but people seem to find it very intimidating when you see people writing in front of you. She was sitting at her desk and she would occasionally look down at her paper, write something, look up. To be honest, I would suggest not really paying attention to her while you're singing your song because otherwise it's going to get a bit too intimidating, like what is she writing about me, what are they thinking? Um, so I would just suggest going with what she said, just imagine you're on stage singing in front of everyone and not really paying attention to the fact that you're in an audition room and there's nerves and there's like just not paying attention to all of that just making sure that you're in the zone and you're just giving it all you have which I need to do next year I definitely didn't give it my all this year and that's really frustrating for me but then when everyone finishes we're then just told get your sheet music get your water bottle you're done thank you and you're all taken out of the room <laughs> Um, and then you're given usually, I think we were given about an hour's break, so I had this time to grab a mince pie, grab some candy canes, because this was around the 17th of December. Um, and I just sat there eating the food that I couldn't eat before because I didn't want to ruin my voice. And then we were called in for the dance audition. You are given quite a long time to change in between, so I wouldn't worry about having to like wear all your dance stuff underneath your outfit or whatever. I definitely think that you have a lot, a lot of time to get changed for your dance call, like between your singing and your dancing. So we were then, this was a bigger group that we were called in for. You're usually given a color group. I was in group blue. Um, so they basically came down, they said, everyone in group blue, can we have you here please? And there were about 30 of us, I wanna say. Um, we were then taken up about three or four flights of stairs into a room, um, into a dance studio, greeted by the most charismatic, energetic guy, honestly. If I had him as a teacher, I'd love it. Um, but we went in there and he was basically just telling us stories about him, talking way too much, which I absolutely loved. Um, and we basically just started off with what he called, oh, I've forgotten what they're called. They were like um, exercises of a kind, I've forgotten the name that he actually used for them. But we were basically put into about four rows um, and we would do an exercise that he was doing at the front. So he would do something, then we'd repeat it. And this was pretty much to, uh, he would just put on a song, run to the front, do an exercise and we would do it. And he would move the lines forward each time so everyone got a chance to be at the front. Um, and that went on for about 10, 15 minutes. Those were kind of a warm up to our actual dance audition. <laughs> um, and then basically we were taken to the side. Um, they had a desk about here and we were all here because um, we were doing corner exercises so they could see us from the side. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, the dance call was a lot harder than I was expecting. <laughs> Pretty much we were given about 20 seconds to learn the routine he'd given us before we had to do it ourselves. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best dancer. I'm pretty much a singer-actress, so I... Let's just say I completely humiliated myself in the dance call. Um, there was like me and one other girl who couldn't do them as quick. I managed to do them a lot better than I thought at the end when they were actually marking them but I humiliated myself. <laughs> um, so we would be there and he would show us. 
So he'd show us the mini routine that he wanted us to do from the corner. I think we had two different routines that we had to do. Um, so he would do it, and then he would do it over and over with us for a small amount of time. Um, and then he did it with the other one. Another rehearsal, very quick rehearsal. And then we'd all be taken to the side. And then they said, okay, this is the set that we're marking. So the guy went and sat at the desk with another guy. I'm not sure who the other guy was, but he was there as well. We were told stay away from the desk because we could see all of our sheets were on that paper. And they obviously didn't want us to see what they'd written about us because otherwise, you know, confidentiality, whatever. Um, and then he basically would play the music and he'd be like five, six, seven, eight, and you'd have to do it straight off in like sets of either two or three. I think it was twos with us. So we were standing there and we would do the corner exercise that way, then we'd all be there and then when the last people got to that side, then we'd start going the other way again. Um, and then we did it with the other routine. It was very, very quick, the routines that they gave us. It was very much like do, 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 do. Like it was very much five seconds, like you need to have it done. They were giving us pirouettes. They were giving us like fast movements. They were giving us all this stuff so I think you definitely have to have some dance experience going into this because as much as they say you don't need to be a dancer to get past the auditions you do kind of um, and then not gonna lie at this point I was very embarrassed I was like I've just completely humiliated myself in front of one of the GSA dance teachers uh, and as much as he was understanding and he was like giving me a wink to let me know that it was all okay it was all good I still felt humiliated, I was so embarrassed, um, I literally, after the dance call, he basically says, okay, you're good, you can go, I grabbed my water bottle, and I was so distraught, I was so sad, I went downstairs, and I literally said to my grandma, I was like, can we go now, please, I cannot be here while I'm like this, it was literally so humiliating, honestly, so I would suggest definitely have some kind of dance experience behind you before going to this audition because otherwise you'll do what I did. I, I'd had dance lessons but I wasn't great at dance and I definitely should have done more work on learning routines like that because that is what they do in auditions. They give you 30 seconds to learn it and then you have to do it. So I would definitely say work on stuff like pirouettes, work on like corner work and learn to pick up routines like that because that's what you're gonna need for auditions. Um, but overall, it was such a fun day. I made friends, I like had fun, and despite humiliating myself in the dance call, it was honestly so much fun to do the audition. And honestly, if it was that bad, I wouldn't be re-auditioning next year. Like, it's not as bad as I've probably made it sound. But honestly, if you when you go in, it's such like a welcoming atmosphere and everyone is so nice. Like honestly, music auditions I've learned are a lot different from musical theatre auditions. Everyone in musical theatre auditions seem to be so much more like, hi, how are you? What's your name? Like than musical uh, than music auditions. It was a really weird atmosphere for me, but I loved it, honestly. So yeah, that was pretty much my GSA audition. It pretty much only took up about half a day. Actually, not even that, geez. Um, I was there from about 12 until about four. A lot of the girls for singing um, actually turned up in dresses. I wore a dress and um, a lot of the other girls wore dresses as well. Actually not all of the girls came in with dresses. Some girls wore trousers and a shirt so don't feel like you have to wear a dress. That was just a personal thing for me that I did. Um, guys they just wore like jeans and a shirt or just trousers and a shirt. It wasn't really anything too formal but you know you want to look nice for an audition. Girls for the dance call um, were just wearing leotards and they were just wearing black footless tights with jazz shoes. I wore pink shorts and pink leg warmers over mine because I had to be extra in some kind of way. Um, and then guys were pretty much just wearing shorts over a leotard with black tights on. But actually there were only about two guys in the whole audition slot that I was in, which was actually surprising. I was expecting there to be more guys than that. But yeah, no, that's pretty much what you'd wear for an audition like that. And that's what people were wearing for that audition. 
so that was pretty much my GSA audition experience. If you guys have any more questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. I usually get back to every comment that I have and answer any questions. Or if you have any other questions about any other kind of audition, then I will probably make a video on that. I'm planning to make a lot more musical theatre videos on my channel because, you know. And as per usual, if you like this video, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe right down below. We hit my goal of getting 500 before New Year's, which is amazing. And we've actually got to about 600, so we've gained about 100 in less than a month, which is really good. I don't know what's going on. But thank you so much for actually getting me to my goal, because I honestly didn't know whether I'd actually get there. But we're here, and I want to see if we can get to a thousand by the end of this year. So fingers crossed that we can do it. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!